While last year's Moto E failed to impress in the specs department, its price was hard to beat. Now this year, Motorola is back with another version of its budget-priced Android handset, the Moto E 4G LTE. And not only does the new phone have better hardware, but a brand new design both inside and out. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. Compared to the Moto E, the 4G LTE's hardware is a definite step up. Its 4.5-inch display looks good, although it's not 1080p. It has a 1.2 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 410 processor and Adreno 306 GPU, 8 gigs of internal storage, 1 gig of RAM, a 5-megapixel camera, a 3290 mAh battery, and of course, 4G LTE connectivity. It also ships with Android Lollipop 5.0.2. Now, those specs aren't stellar compared to most high-end flagship phones, but given the Moto E's $150 US price, they're a pretty good value. Now, along with the hardware changes, Motorola also significantly changed the phone's external and internal design. Instead of a removable back cover, the phone has a removable plastic rim that hides the SIM card and micro SD card slots. Also gone are the external case screws. Now, to open this phone, you'll have to go through the front. So, let's get cracking. After removing the phone's plastic rim, we can use a heat gun, hair dryer, microwavable, warmer, or other heating device to warm the edges of the front panel just enough to loosen the glue that holds it to the plastic body. Then, gently pry the front panel and display assembly away from the body, disconnect its ribbon cable, and ultimately set it aside. Now, next to come out is a thin metal plate that covers much of the main circuit board. After removing more than a dozen screws, including one hiding under the earpiece, and disconnecting the battery cable, you can remove a black plastic bracket along the bottom edge of the phone's case, and then ultimately, the circuit board. Now, unfortunately, the metal shields that cover the board's processor, RAM, storage, and other chips are soldered in place. Likewise, the battery is glued to the plastic case. Now, as I want to put this phone back together in working order, not destroy it, I'm afraid our cracking open ends here. From a teardown standpoint, the Moto E 4G LTE is a mixed bag. On the downside, the front panel is held to the case with adhesive and not screws or physical snaps. There are more than a dozen screws inside the case, and many internal components are soldered to the circuit board, making them impractical to replace. Now, on the plus side, once you're inside the phone, removing the internal hardware is relatively easy, and at least all the screws are the same size. Now, for more information on the Moto E 4G LTE, including real-world tests and pricing, check out Luke Westaway and Jessica Dolcourt's full CNET review. To see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open.